Hello, KPA Tigers. Happy Tuesday, November 19th, 2024. This is the KTA News. Let's start with a video for Native American Heritage Month. Last week, I said that I was going to show you a video about the Pasquayaki tribe, and then I showed you a video for Navajo Code Talkers. I clicked on the wrong video link. So today, for real, I'm going to show you a video that highlights the Pasquayaki tribe. Let's watch. The Pasquayaki tribe was federally recognized on September 18, 1978. There were several Yaqui communities located in Tucson, Marana, Scottsdale, and Guadalupe. Guadalupe is the oldest Yaqui community. The tribal seal displays a deer dancer. The deer dance is a major participant in the tribe's Palm Sunday festivals, and they are noted for Easter celebrations. Pascua means Easter in Spanish. The deer dance is a traditional symbol for good in the Yaqui culture and from bright, beautiful flowers that are empowered to destroy evil and bring out goodness. The deer dance mimics the connection to which Yaqui people have with nature. Isn't that so interesting? Please continue to learn about different cultures, different tribes during Native American Heritage Month. And if you are part of a Native American tribe and you would like to share something from your own culture and your own heritage, please send it my way. I would love to share it on announcements, whether it's this month or at any time. I am so excited to share that our fourth grade team had a Donors Choose project that over the weekend was fully funded, and it was funded by the fourth grade parents. We even had one family, a, an anonymous donor that gave over $800 towards this project that will go directly towards our fourth grade students. So fourth grade, do a little cheer, and thank you, thank you, thank you, families that are watching who helped with that Donors Choose project. We are still continuing our boxed cereal collection. We are getting more and more each day. A week from today is when we're going to have this STEM challenge. So you have one week to bring in more boxed cereal to, have, to be the winning class. Although it is going to be very difficult to be one fourth grade class because Massive shout out to Mila Burns Piano, who is a fourth grader here at KTA. Look at her posing in front of all those cereal boxes. Her family has something where they do chores and they earn an allowance. And part of their allowance goes towards some type of way to support their community. And Mila chose to put her money towards our cereal box challenge so that these boxes of cereal can go to the Family Resource Center once we are done. Mila had was able to purchase over 30 boxes of cereal. Look at her. Look at how amazing is that? Mila, thank you, thank you, thank you. This really filled my bucket when this came in. To, I think your mom sent it to me by email. It made me so happy, so proud, and what a cool way to serve our community. If you are in class with Mila, give her a big thank you because she has definitely helped your class be in the winning, in the running. Today is Thanksgiving lunch, so there will probably be some extra guests in our cafeteria today during the lunch hours. So. It is just like a regular Tuesday, but parents can also purchase a school lunch for $3.90. We can only take cash. So very exciting. Yesterday, I shared that middle school students, you can fill out an application to support some of our younger students during the turkey trot. There are applications in the front office, and also Mr. Shepard has them. He can also answer any questions you might have about this buddy application. But 
But if you are at all interested in doing Turkey Trot and supporting our younger students, you have to be willing to be a good buddy, be a good friend, and help out. I've been talking a lot about the KTA Craft Fair that's coming up on November 23rd. It's from 8 to 1 p.m. here at school. We are still looking for vendors, but I wanted to showcase some of the small businesses that will be there. Mrs. Carazosa will be there selling, selling her books. We, some of the other vendors are Sugar and Slice Lemonade, LLC, Liz's Beautiful Creations, Kelly's Creations, Miss Scott, Cowabunga Creations, Bonner Bro Crafts, and then we'll have other KTA students selling creations. And then this says, Captain Awesome Approves and Wolfing It Down. I am not sure, but I'm going to have to look if those are part of Mrs. Carazosa's books that she sells or if those are other businesses that will be at the KTA Craft Fair. But I can't wait to see. I look forward to seeing many of you there. That's it for today, today's announcements. Have an amazing Tuesday. Go Tigers!